Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. So we have 5 to the power of x plus 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 5 to the power of x is equal to 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is because there are so many 5 to the power of x's on the left hand side, I am going to simply factor out 5 to the power of x. So now I have 5 to the power of x times, now 5 to the power of x divided by 5 to the power of x is obviously 1 because anything divided by itself is 1. So I have 1 plus, again, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. And this is equal to 2. So now, if I simplify with some of the parentheses, I get 5 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So I get 5 to the power of x times 5 is equal to 2. Now, I can divide by 5 on both sides. So then by dividing by 5, these two will cancel out. So I will be left with 5 to the power of x is equal to 2 over 5. Now I can go ahead and take the log on both sides. So now I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 2 over 5. Now, the log of 5 to the power of x, well, this is the same thing as log of base 10, 5 to the power of x. So these two are the same things, but it, you don't really need to write the 10, the base 10. So now, I can actually move this exponent to the front because if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a. So I can actually move the exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So now I have x times log 5 is equal to log 2 over 5. Now, another property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So right here, log of 2 of over 5 this is going to equal log 2 minus log 5. So now if I put it all together, I get x times log 5 is equal to log 2 minus log 5. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and divide by log 5 on both sides. So if I divide by log 5 on both sides, I get x times log 5 over log 5 is equal to log 2 minus log 5 over log 5. So first off, these two will cancel out. So now I have x is equal to log 2 minus log 5 over log 5. Now, if I have, let's say, a fraction in the form a minus b over c, or a plus b over c, this is the same thing as a over c minus b over c, and a over c plus b over c. These two are the same because Remember, if I end up subtracting these, this would be a minus b over c, and this would be a plus b over c. So for 
log 2 minus log 5 over log 5, this is in the form a minus b over c, so this is also equal to log 2 over log 5 minus log 5 over log 5. So now I have x is equal to log 2 over log 5 minus log 5 over log 5. Now log 5 and log 5, these two obviously cancel out. So now I'll have x is equal to log 2 over log 5 minus 1. Because anything divided by itself is simply 1. Now if you plug in or sorry if you go to a calculator and plug in log 2 you get 0 0.3070 and log 5 this is equal to approximately 0 0.6990 so now, if I plug these into the equation and substitute them for log 2 and log 5, I get 0 0.3070 over 0 0.6990 minus 1. Now, 0 0.3070 over 0 0.6990 is equal to 0 0.4306. So now I have x is equal to 0 0.4306 minus 1. And 0 0.4306 minus 1 is equal to negative 0 0.5694. Now um, we are going to try a similar problem and this is actually much simpler. So we have 4 to the power 4 plus 4 to the power 4 plus 4 to the power 4 plus 4 to the power 4. So how would we solve this problem? Well, what, what you have to do is you have to factor out 4 to the power 4. So you get 4 to the power 4 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Now if you simplify what's in the parentheses, you get 4 to the power 4 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. And 4 is the same thing as 4 to the power of 1. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times, or sorry, a to the power of m plus n. So 4 to the power of 4 times 4 to the power of 1, this is going to equal 4 to the power of 4 plus 1, which is equal to 4 to the power of 5. And 4 to the power of 5, well, that's 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 times 4 again is 16 times 4. So then 16 times 16 is 256. So I have 256 times 4. And 256 times 4, that is going to be 1024.